What's going on guys, it's Jeromon and today we're gonna to be doing a performance review on the Nike KD9 Elite. These reworked the upper from the original KD9s but bring back the same tooling and traction without increasing the price. But is it a performance upgrade? Let's find out starting with the traction, which again utilizes the same honeycomb pattern which was introduced in the original KD9s. This particular colorway uses a translucent rubber outsole and the overall experience is pretty consistent across multiple floor conditions, including extremely dusty ones. With just a few wipes, the traction is as good as gold. So if you play on less than ideal floor conditions, I would highly recommend these. But if you're looking for something as an outdoor option, I would probably look somewhere else. As the rubber compound Nike used here isn't very durable, my outsole has already started to show signs of chafing in high wear areas. But for every other situation, the traction is going to be very consistent. And it might just be the KD9's best feature. The reason why I say might be is because the cushion also performs at an extremely high level with its full length max zoom air setup that really showcases what the technology has to offer. If you're looking for a cushion setup that is bouncy and explosive yet also retains some responsiveness, you really can't go wrong with the KD9 as the cushioning really has no weaknesses. Sure, you can find setups that have better court feel and a more low to the ground ride, but it's not that the KD9 lacks in these areas, it's just not its main point of emphasis as the full length max zoom air unit provides a more springier and explosive experience but to be honest with you versatility is the kd9's best feature as the cushioning used here is suitable for all players and play styles next up are the materials and if you thought the fly knit upper on the original kd9s was a stone cold killer you're absolutely going to love the materials on the elite version the fly knit nike implemented here is definitely more true to what we see on popular nike running models like the fly knit racer as it's a more pliable and free-flowing experience that lacks support and stability but makes up for it with comfort and wearability. Another change Nike made with the Elite version is the addition of a compression-like sock in the collar area. And while I have no real problems with this feature, it's kind of hard to notice and I couldn't help but feel it was a tad bit unnecessary as it really doesn't offer any value performance-wise. But like I said, it's really hard to notice so it didn't bother me during use. I guess it's fine, but to me, it's more of an aesthetic look than a performance feature. Moving along to the fit, the KD9 Elite features a very particular fit that is both very long and very narrow. I myself had to go down half a size to compensate for the extremely long fit, but by doing so, the width became extremely narrow and a little uncomfortable, so I actually had to loosen up the laces to allow my foot to breathe a little, but by doing that, the support system was somewhat compromised, and on top of all of this, the KD9 Elite still fit my foot a little bit long. I couldn't believe it. There was just a little too much dead space in the toe box area to my liking. So if you're a wide footer, I would just avoid these completely as the KD9 seems to be made to the exact specifications of Duran himself, which is fine. But if you don't have a long and narrow foot like KD, you're going to experience some issues with the fit. Lastly, let's talk about the support and like I mentioned earlier, the reworked Flyknit upper loses some control and stability and Nike tries to compensate for this with a ton of Flywire cables. In total, there are five eyelets that are made out of thick Flywire as well as an additional Flywire cable which goes through the top eyelet and around the heel for added lockdown in this area. And on paper, this advanced lacy system seems like it should work and to an extent it does as you can clearly see the Flywire wrapping around around my foot when I lace them up. But the issues I had with the fit didn't allow the KD9 Elite support system to do its job correctly. Like I talked about earlier, I had to loosen up the laces in the midfoot as the fit was a little too tight. And by doing this, my foot was sliding all around the inside of the shoe. As you can see in this clip, my foot slid off the footbed regularly with minimal movement. And the lack of an extended outrigger also caused my foot to roll over itself on hard cuts and jab steps. And since I had to loosen up the laces, my foot would slam right into the front of the shoe, forcing me to manually snap my foot back into place after said movements. So overall, the long and narrow fit really did cause a lot of problems with the KD9 Elite support. So if you're looking for something with a solid support system, you're really not going to find it here despite the excessive use of Flywire. Had the lacing system gone a little higher up on the collar, this would have helped provide a little bit more lockdown on those hard cuts and abrupt stops. But as they sit right now, the support system on the KD9 Elite is just a mess. Quite frankly, 
a little scary. At the end of the day, if you enjoyed the original KD9s, you're going to most likely enjoy the Elite version as well. But if you're a wide footer or are looking for a ton of support, you're gonna wanna skip the KD9 Elite completely as both categories are very fragile and you'll need the right circumstances for them to perform properly. With all that being said, the traction and materials are both absolutely amazing. And if you have not tried Max Zoom Air, this is the shoe to do it in. And that alone is almost worth the price of admission, but fit and support are just too important to perform this poorly. So I would recommend you go in store and try these on. And if you're okay with the fit, yes, cop the KD9 Elite. They're a great encore performer. But if you don't like the way they fit, save your money, cop something else. There's a lot of great options to choose from. That pretty much takes care of the performance review for the Nike KD9 Elite. If you have any more questions, let me know in the comment section below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you enjoyed this review, give me a thumbs up. My name's Jaren, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. If you're familiar with Point3 and their shorts specifically, you already know about their dry hand zone technology, which uses a towel-like material on both sides of the shorts. And this allows players to dry their hands during play. And it's definitely a convenient feature that I myself use quite a bit, especially when I know that ball is coming my way. But 